One of the most creative aspects of working with ZBrush is brush design, creating your own custom brushes. The Alpha Roll feature is something you can use when you design your own brushes. For example, Steve Warner has used this feature to create his rope brush. His rope brush uses a non-square rope alpha, a custom alpha he created, and he's turned on the roll feature so that as I drag on the surface with the brush, you can see the rope design clearly, and it also follows as I make changes in the direction of my brush. He's done the same thing to create his chain brush. In this case, I'm going to experiment by opening the tablet pressure settings. I'm going to expand the size edit curve, and now when I brush lightly, the rope stroke is very thin. As I apply more pressure, the rope becomes thicker. Let's see how we can create one of these brushes from scratch. I've created a non-square barbed wire alpha. And this is a tiling alpha, so as I draw it, will tile perfectly. I'm going to set the standard brush to the freehand stroke and draw on the surface. You can see it doesn't look very much like barbed wire. Now I'm going to go to the stroke palette and turn on the roll feature. And when I do this, you can see the alpha is rolled so the design starts to become more clear. I'm going to turn on lazy mouse and decrease the lazy step to about 0.1 and draw on the surface. Now I'm getting something that's starting to look like barbed wire. I'm going to lower the Z intensity just a little bit. And now it's starting to look pretty good. Next to the roll feature is the roll distance. Uh, for this alpha, a setting of one worked fine. But if I increase roll distance, it starts to stretch the alpha. As I decrease it, it compresses the alpha. So with your own custom alphas, you might want to experiment with roll distance to see what setting gives you the best result. If I turn this up to 5, you can see how much it stretches the actual alpha. 